What's up Football Daily? With the January transfer window well underway, let's take a look at 10 potential loan signings who could make a big difference in the second half of the campaign. 10. Dean Henderson if reports are to be believed, then there is significant unrest among the players at Manchester United right now. And one of those keen to leave the club is Dean Henderson, who's become increasingly frustrated at the lack of game time this season, playing zero Premier League minutes after racking up over 4,000 over the previous two campaigns. Having missed the start of 21-22 with Covid, Henderson hasn't been able to budge a back to his best David De Gea and considering he turns 25 in March, should really be playing regular football, even if United are understandably reluctant to let the talented goalkeeper leave for good. Ajax have previously been linked with a move for the Englishman, who comfortably ranked among the best goalkeepers in the country during his loan spell with Sheffield United, with the Dutch club relying on 39-year-old Martin Stecklenburg and 38-year-old Remco Pasveer in the wake of Andre Onana's doping ban. Having said that, Pasveer has been excellent this term, helping the Dutch Giants concede just four goals in 18 league games. A temporary switch to a club like Stuttgart could see him make much more of a difference. The German outfit are deep in the Bundesliga relegation battle, while goalkeeper Florian Muller has struggled as a replacement for Gregor Cabell. Contracted to the Red Devils until 2025, it seems a loan switch will be Henderson's only way out of Old Trafford. 9. Malang Sar one of the most highly rated young defenders in Europe during his four seasons in the Nice first team, Malang Sarr has struggled for game time in the last two seasons. After signing for Chelsea on a free, the Frenchman was loaned to Porto, where he spent the final third of the season playing for the B team in the Portuguese second tier. And he's hardly had a sniff since returning to Stamford Bridge last summer, making just two appearances across the Premier League and Champions League. Linked with a loan switch to West Ham, where multiple injuries in the back line have threatened an unlikely top four challenge, Sarr could be a useful asset to David Moyes, who's elevated the level of a number of players at the London Stadium. Getting game time at a side where confidence is riding high could work wonders for the form of Saar, but at just 22, still has a lot of developing to do as a central defender. Failing that, linking back up with former Nice manager Patrick Vieira at Crystal Palace, where centre-back options are limited after Gehi and Anderson, could also be a wise move. 8. Abdou Diallo Another highly rated defender who has struggled since getting his big move, Abdou Diallo has made just 45 league gun appearances since his 32 million euro switch from Borussia Dortmund to PSG in the summer of 2019. Currently at the Africa Cup of Nations with Senegal, engineering a move away from the part of the Prance might be difficult right now, but there's no doubt the versatile defender deserves more game time. Diallo has featured in the league just twice since October, with Nuno Mendes and Juan Bernat generally preferred to him at left-back, and Marquinhos, Kimpembe and Tilo Kera ahead of him at centre-half. And one club in desperate need of defensive reinforcements right now is AC Milan, where Simon Kier is out for the season, and both Ficayo Tamori and Alessio Romagnoli are currently sidelined with Covid. Strong in the challenge, decent in the air and good with the ball at his feet, Diallo would be an antidote to Milan's current deficiencies, as they look to get their Serie A title challenge back on track. While the Rossonieri are apparently not willing to meet PSG's 25 million euro valuation, a six-month loan move might be a suitable compromise. 7. Ricky Pouge It feels like Ricky Pouge has been a permanent fixture on videos like this for the last 18 months, but there's no getting away from it. The La Masia graduate desperately needs game time at 22 and needs to move away from Barcelona in order to get it with Xavi not as keen to start him regularly as some would have hoped. And given his ability as a passer and a presser, the youngster would be an asset to several clubs looking to assert more control in the second half of the campaign. Puj averages around the same number of progressive passes per 90 as Frankie de Jong, and is the sixth most active presser in the squad, making him an interesting shout for clubs like Leeds or Atalanta. Yet to get a call-up to the Spain national team, Puj has even dropped out of contention for the under-21s. He's so far stayed strong in his desire to stay at the camp now, but a six-month stint on loan would do Pooch the world of good. 6. Anthony Martial The second United player on our list, Anthony Martial has been firm in his desire to leave Old Trafford, notifying manager Ralph Ranić at the end of December. The Frenchman has made just one start in the last three months and has struggled for form since his superb 2019-20 season in which he scored 17 and assisted 6 in the Premier League at centre-forward. Sevilla have been most strongly linked with his signature, but at the time of writing, there appears to be doubts over whether the Spanish outfit can land him. But there's no doubt he would be an asset to the Andalusians who are the only team in reach of Real Madrid in La Liga this term. What's more, with goals spread around the side and Papu Gomez seeing attacking numbers drop off since joining from Atalanta, there is certainly space for a player of Martial's calibre in the forward line. 
A club like Napoli, who are also in the title race and could do with attacking reinforcements following injuries to Victor Osimen and Herving Lozano, could also be an option if a move to Spain falls through, with the Italian outfit also in need of a replacement for Lorenzo Insigne when he leaves at the end of the season. 5. Mauro Icardi With just one league goal since September, it's perhaps no surprise that Mauro Icardi's personal life has drawn more headlines in recent months than anything he's done on the pitch. But while drama between him and his wife, Wanda Nara, may well have affected his on-the-pitch performances this term, it's been quite a while since we've seen him at his best. The last time he scored more than 12 league goals in a season was all the way back in 2017-18, when he hit a career-best 29 for Inter, with his expected goals per 90 dropping from 0.8 to 0.4 in the last year alone. But his natural goal-scoring instincts won't have disappeared overnight, and a change of scene could do the striker some good. And with the Juventus supposedly interested, a move back to Italy could be best for both parties. The Bianconeri are in desperate need of goals and, following the sale of Cristiano Ronaldo, have clearly missed the Portuguese maestro's movements inside the box. Someone with Icardi's skill set could provide a good resolution. After all, Juve are still creating a fair amount of chances, but currently rank 11th in Serie A for goals scored. In touching distance to a top four spot, Icardi could be the answer to Juve's troubles in the second half of the season. 4. Jafit Tanganga Despite a nightmare performance against Chelsea in their recent League Cup clash, Tottenham's Jafit Tanganga remains a promising defender, able to play at right-back, centre-back and in a back three. But having just made 17 Premier League appearances over the last two and a half seasons, amounting to just 1,600 minutes of action in total, the Englishman needs to be getting more game time at 22. Despite reports last summer that Spurs accepted a loan offer for the youngster from Turkish giants Galatasaray, Tanganga remained in North London as he put together a run of games at the start of the campaign. But opportunities haven't come as easily for him since. With Joe Rodon also linked with a move away, Tanganga may well be required to stay at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in order to provide good cover. But should he decide he needs more minutes elsewhere, Borussia Dortmund could be a good destination. It seems as if the German club are constantly battling an injury crisis in their back line. And this season has seen Akanji, Zagadou and Hummels all have spell on the sidelines, with the increasingly immobile Axel Witzel having to fill in at centre-back at various points too. A robust defender who has generally fared well when used in big games in the past, Tanganga would be an ideal backup at the Westfalen Stadion. And given their current injury woes, he would likely get a lot more game time to develop his skills than if he stayed at Spurs. 3. Jorginho Wijnaldum Another player who, like Icardi, has struggled at PSG this season. Jorginho Wijnaldum actually ranks 8th for minutes played in Mauricio Pochettino's squad, but has been played out of position on the left and on the right in recent games, and is reportedly open to a return to England. Whether PSG would sanction such a move is another matter, but there are certainly a few clubs who could do with Wijnaldum's experience and technical ability in the centre of the park. Arsenal have been strongly linked with a low move for the Dutch international, and with Thomas Partey away at the AFCON, ball retention already looks like an issue for them in central midfield. Former club Newcastle have also been linked, although it would be surprising for the 31-year-old to willingly swap the Champions League knockouts for a Premier League relegation battle, while Wijnaldum's best option may well be to stay with the French giants. However, should he become available on loan, the Emirates would be a good destination. 2. Nathan Ake While he may have filled in admirably on a few occasions this season, it's been clear that since he was signed by Manchester City in 2020, that Nathan Ake would never be more than a squad player under Pep Guardiola. And while there are far worse things than being back up to some of the world's best centre-halves at a club that looks odds-on to win their fourth title in five seasons, the 26-year-old hasn't shied away from a lone move in the past. And with a number of sides in need of defensive reinforcements this January, he shouldn't be short of suitors. The aforementioned West Ham could certainly do with a player of Ake's experience, as they look to solidify themselves in the top six, while his calmness in possession would surely be welcomed at a club like Leeds, who have arguably suffered from injuries more than any other side in the Premier League this term. With the World Cup on the horizon, Ake can't rely on the odd game here and there to cement his place in Louis van Gaal's Netherlands plans. A move back to the familiar ground of the mid-table might feel like a step back, but it's also probably necessary. 1. Joe Gomez With Nat Phillips expected to leave Liverpool for around £10 million this January, the question remains as to what Joe Gomez can expect for the rest of the season. Once Jurgen Klopp's first-choice partner for Virgil van Dijk, Gomez has hardly played since returning from a 10-month knee injury, playing just 14 minutes of Premier League action this term. And with his last start away from the EFL Cup coming against Milan back in September. But while Jurgen Klopp insists he's very much part of his plans at Anfield, it's hard not to think that a lone move would be good for the England international, even if it could be difficult to pull off in the winter window. And with Leicester City having to field a makeshift back line on almost a weekly basis due to an injury crisis this season, 
we can think a few better destinations for Gomez than the King Power. An excellent passer and ball carrier, Gomez would instantly upgrade a backline which has struggled to progress the ball this term. In fact, Brendan Rodgers' side, who have dominated games in the past, are averaging less than 50% possession this season. They have sorely missed Wesley Fofana, with the Frenchman not back until February at the very earliest, with stalwart Johnny Evans out until April. What better way to prove your worth to Klopp than to save an ailing Fox's side? So team, that was our 10 loans that could save your season. But who have we missed? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, click on screen right now for more great Football Daily and Euro Football Daily videos. And we'll catch you next time.